side, you know, when you walk into the room, if there's like, say, 300 players in the room and 2% of them are playing Reanimator, yep. how much do you really want to fight against that? Yeah, we're walking into a, what looks to be a bloodbath here of sorts uh, because we have a batter skull uh, germ token equipped. We have a germ token equipped with a batter skull and an Umazawa Shite. Now, Twin Street Hooligan coming on in all uncounterable and stuff, which is sweet, uh, but which one are you going to kill isn't so sweet because I think he has to kill the Umazawa Shite, but if you kill the Shite, that means that batter skull is still hanging out. He's going to target the batter skull here, so what he's going to do is going to go kill, kill, and I think we're going to see him go sacrifice the fetch land and bring it back. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm killing your best. Yeah, wait, 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 yeah, I yeah. still got effects. Yeah. No, you're, you're targeting it. There's no argument to be had there. I got effects. Cowden going to say, yeah, I'm going to bring that back. Thanks. Still has shoot to play, too, so not sure Tintree accomplished very much there. If you're just joining us, I'm Adrian Sullivan here in the booth with Cedric Phillips. This is SCG Live here in Cleveland, Ohio. The StarCityGames.com <laughs> open series. Nick Cowden drops the fifth land, recasts the batter skull, passes things back to Joey Andrews. Now, this is a, a slight moment of opportunity for Joey Andrews because the Umazawa's Jite is free of counters, but he has to do something pretty impressive. And you know what? <laughs> That's lackey, really good. Lackey is not the impressive thing. No. We go on to game three. Yep. Alright, so Andrew's going to be on the play, Cowden's going to be on the draw, Goblins versus Blue at Red Delver, we are evened up here in the semifinal, so we'll take a look at the sideboards here, eh, I, I guess I'll take a look at the Goblins list. Okay, Ugh. please, please tell me, because uh, I've got a guess, I'm going to write down what I think should be sideboard nothing, I, here. I, I got nothing else to do, so, Mind Break Trap, no, just no. Pyrokinesis, I like it, I like it here, being able to take care of a Delver, there's the... First of all, Pyrokinesis can take care of Batter Skull, Germ Token by itself. It can take care of Stoneforge Mist, it can take, take care of Delver. can't obviously take care of Geist, but it has the opportunity to just be a really good card in this matchup. Uh, so I like that here. Pyroblast, I don't really like because the blue cards just really aren't that great. Uh, you know, you don't want to waste a card in encountering a Brainstorm. It doesn't take care of Stoneforge Mist or Batter Skull. It makes it so that your Ringleader count is actually lowered, and you want your Ringleaders to be the best they possibly can. If you're going to lower the Ringleader count, you need to have a card that has an incredibly high impact, which I don't think Pyroblast does have. Thalia, I don't really like. I think it's okay, but I don't think it's great. And again, you want your sideboard cards to be high impact cards that can kind of blow out the opponent. And then Relic, I would I would say you would sideboard against Rug Delver because they have Tarmogoyf and Nimble Mongoose. But against this deck, they don't have either of those cards. And they don't really care about the graveyard either. And they don't have Snapcaster Mage or anything like that. So I think the only card I would board against Pyrokinesis, uh, the cards I would sideboard out for are a Goblin Sharpshooter because you're not really going to be able to sharpshoot or anything down in this matchup. Uh, I like taking out Prospector because the Prospector is you know part of the combo with sharpshooter so i like boarding that out and then i don't really care very much for maybe one of these mog war marshals maybe sideboard one of those out uh and probably just call it a day i like sting scourge in this matchup actually because one thing that you can do is when they cast a stoneforge mystic you can bounce it and keep your tempo up secondly you can just bounce the germ token off a batter skull uh or, and there are more positions that do come to fruition where you just want to bounce a delver secrets that has flipped just so that you can not die like that's a real thing so well, I, uh, it looks like I guessed wrong. I have Pyro, ah. pyro and Pyro, okay. and uh, I totally can hear exactly what you're saying about Pyroblast, and that makes sense to me. You've certainly played a lot more, but Pyrokinesis, the red analog to Forcible, very good. You already can see Nick Cowden's sideboard possibilities there. I like the removal spells on the very right column there. Swords to Plowshares, Wear Tear, Pyroclasm, and honestly, I don't really like much else. There's an argument to be made for a card like Meddling Mage just as a chump blocker, or not even a chump blocker, a guy that can trade with a goblin. That does not sound too exciting to me. I want to have it be swords because it's cheap, pyroclasm because it can clear the board, and wear tear because you know, getting rid of an aether vial can make a lot of help happen for your deck. You know what we got to do? <laughs> What's that? We got to give props to Danny Olson uh, at D Olson 16 because he was the first Twitter person to make us decide what we were going to have on camera first, yeah. which was an animator mirror. Pretty glad we did. It yeah. was a pretty sweet match. So that was awesome. Thank no you. No hate tweets to Danny Olson, only happy tweets to D Olson 16. We are on a game three here between the number two seed, Joey Andrews with Goblins, and Nick Cowden with the blue, white, red Delver. And uh, both of these players, long day of magic. They uh, started this morning having to push their way through a marathon to get here. And now they're one game away for one of these players to be in the finals. Oh boy, one of the two turn one plays that are just so scary. That's a lackey. 
I mean, it is scary, but at the same time, Kaladin's deck has so many answers to it. He has Swords, he has Delver, he's got Lava Mancer, he's got Bolt. He's going to play Tundra and just pass the turn back. You see in his hand, he's got a sword that he's actually pulled forward to. So I think he is uh, he's at the ready. Lackey's going to come in, but it's just going to die. Goblin Lackey unable to pull off the trick of mana bursting. But the thing is, is when you're playing goblins, you can't keep a hand, especially against this deck, based off of Goblin Lackey hitting. You just have to keep a normal hand with like lands and interaction and just play magic. And if he had Vile on turn one and didn't draw it for this turn, I actually would have wanted to establish Vile first. Because, again, it is so unrealistic for you to hit with Lackey against this deck, especially when you have access to the deck list. It's just not going to happen. You can see a Daze, a, another Swords to Plowshares, I think, I believe I saw in Nick's hand. Um, a Bolt. Nick has got all the removals. Mm -hmm. Two mana. Goblin Pile Driver. Dazing that. Don't love... I don't want the casting of Pile Driver there either. When you have a Vial on one, it's going to tick up to two. I think you're turning on a card that, is, that you don't need to turn on in days. And now, Insectile Aberration is going to come into the red zone. Going to put Joey down. You're going to see Cowden's going to sacrifice her. Might see a Stoneforge Mystic, maybe? Going to get a red land. Goblin Pile Driver in Joey Andrews' list is a nod to the way that this deck is trying to be a little bit more of a solitaire deck because it can bring on a really fast clock with the best draws. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, one of the things that I think you talked about with, say, way back when Merfolk was more of a deck, it's, it's a card that mostly exists when you're not interacting with your opponent very much. Once yeah. you get into interaction, it's not so great. Yeah, I mean, when you're getting in, in, in like, combat battles and stuff like that, you know, Pile Driver is just something that just block down. It's not very hard to kill for a lot of decks. A lot of decks have swords, they've got bolts. It's just not a very durable threat. I think you can use better ways to try to go about and win. But when you're playing against a, like combo decks, like you'd much rather Pile Driver because it closes the game out really fast. In for three more we go. So this should oh. knock Andrews down to 14, I believe, for our life total. We will get that updated for you guys. Now here's a Stoneforge Mystic. Did you see the two bolts in that hand? Oh, yeah, his man. hand is his hand is loaded, his cowden's. That is stacked. It is at 15. Gain the life in the source of postures earlier, so my total is correct right now. And there's a GTA, which is a absolute blast to play against. Now this is one of those situations where uh where Pyrokinesis is insane. And uh, unfortunately for Cowden, he doesn't have a blue card to go along uh, with the Force Wilds in his hand, but this is the kind of situation you get yourself into where Pyrokinesis is absolutely awesome. And if you saw Joey Andrew's hand, he does have Pyrokinesis in it. Untap, tick up to three. A uh, hasty goblin would be pretty awesome here. He doesn't have a land. He drew another Aether Vial, which actually isn't that bad of a draw. I mean, it's a really delayed land, but it makes it so that your spells can't be countered. I think we might see a Hasty Goblin, maybe a Matron. It is going to be a War Chief. War Chief, War Chief a mini Nambo yeah. with 10 Street Hooligan, but uh, that's okay. Yeah. I'm going to go Bolt, take care of this. <laughs> Trying so hard to mount some kind of uh, some kind of damage power here. One thing I don't like about that Bolt, I like getting rid of that War Chief. War Chief can cause the most absurd things to happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal just because he has another Bolt and a Sword, so... I don't think he has to worry about the War Chief all that much. The worry here is if uh, Cowden draws, he drew a land. So now he has Jite online, and it looks like... If he goes all in, this is going to be a huge blowout. Yeah, it's actually really, really good here for Andrews. Assuming he has... I know he has Pyrokinesis, and I'm assuming he has another red card in his hand. This actually ends up working out pretty well for him. Oh, oh. but Cowden showing the patience. Wow, we. Well done. Yeah, agreed. Especially in the face of just one mana. I can't believe he doesn't move in there. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely surprised. I think Joey Andrews is looking at his uh, pyrokinesis going, how don't you go in there? He's got choices to make. He decides not to up it. Maybe he's got a matron in hand. Yeah, there's a possibility of that. And with this. Another there's... burn spell. Yeah, there's a bolt. Take care of that. Yeah. Oh, what goblins wouldn't give for a scion of Una. Goodness, you... Boy, you gotta, you gotta kill these guys. There you go. Z and he's gonna remove Pyrokinesis two and two. No force will for you. You do get to put your Gita in. What's yep. that card do? Well, yep. it distributes four damage however I like, but only to creatures. Quick, Adrian, what's the cycle of those cards? Go, from alliances. Pitch cycle. Yep. What are the cards? What are the, what's oh, the black one? I see what you're what's saying. What's the black one? Scars of the, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go the other way. Okay. Scars of the Veteran, Bounty of the Hunt, Pyrokinesis, Force of Will, and the black one's Contagion. Well done, well done. Pretty, pretty fast.
for the old man. <laughs> Don't take old personally. Uh, yeah, get off of my lawn. <laughs> Back in my day, we had Golden Bloom Brigade, and yeah. we liked it. <laughs> Days the draw step for Cowden, so he just drew a blue card for the Force of Will. So a little bit late to the party, but uh, there is a there's a Nunzao Shite out there, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, I've got one for you. What's the only one of those cards that never saw a tournament play? Uh, I, 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 I have no idea. Scars of the Veteran. I don't know what that card does. It, <laughs> it prevents damage and then gives uh, power tokens to yeah. the creatures so, that are prevented. So it's the white one. Yes. Got it. <laughs> white, the color of boring. Yeah. Here's a Delver of <laughs> Secrets. So Cowden does draw a creature, and now he's going to suit up. You see his hand again. Force Will Days and Swords of Plowshares. Warchief going to untap. you got to tick those vials up. Four and three we go. His draws are very, very good right now. He can draw a Ringleader. You can draw a Matron. He's got a lot of big draws, but he needs to find one of them right now. There's a land. Oh, oh no. not so exciting. Look at that I hand know, there. Yeah, I know that look. <laughs> this is the turning of the game look. Yeah. Uh, yeah how, about, how about you? How about you, suicide? Come on, come on, come on! Get in the way, buddy. The the thing is, though, he, like he's not out of this. Like an active Jitte is obviously very annoying, but it's not game over. So Delver's gonna come in. What was the card that he drew? I yeah. You see, taking his head. I think he drew a daze and didn't flip. Because you see the way you see, what he drew, yeah. Because he got all spells in his hand. You see the way he drew his card. Yeah. Uh, he drew it in a yeah, obviously not the miracle check or Delver check manner. They've been playing all day. Yeah. These things happen. One thing to remember: it's easy to spectate. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Looks like he's gonna kill War Chief right now too, so the cost reduction doesn't happen. Maybe not. Okay, so he's gonna get a white die on there. Make it easier for everyone at home to see. Yep. Now, if you are at home, one of the things to think about, how awesome is it that you get to watch magic this up and close? If you were actually standing at that table, you wouldn't see the magic as well as you can see it at home. Yeah. Thalia. Yeah, nope. No. No. And realistically, I actually don't like countering that at all. Uh, and the reason I like countering that is like, what does that matter? Like, you have swords in your hand. You've got a Jite that is active that can just, just shoot it down. So what is Thalia actually doing? Like, I don't know what spell there's going to be that's going to blow out um, Cowden, but like now there's a possibility of him just drawing like a, like a card and just at, for Andrews next when you want to do something. I think that was so. I, I feel like that was like kind of a sloppy, uh, kind of a sloppy force a little. Down nine life, Joey Andrews gets a land. He's got his two vials, it's one it, on three, one on four. It's like, here's the big thing, like if because I think he's going to search for a Taiga now. Because he's really going through his deck. And if he has 10 Street Hooligan in his hand, like, that's a card worth countering a Force of Will. <laughs> Maybe it's there. Look at that. He's got a look of aggression. He looks a little bit yeah. passionate about this. He's like, okay, I think the door's open. Is it going to work? Oh, yeah, my lordy. Oh, look at that look. Yeah, that, yeah 10 Street Hooligan. Yeah, that's insane. Boom. And he oh. can pay for the days, too. So that, oh, wow. boy. So now this game is going to turn. Also, don't forget that uh, Calvin forgot to flip his Delver when he when he saw Days, because he was too hasty on his draw step. So now Jitte is going to, yeah, take care of your 10 tree tool and gain two life, go to 14. But he should have Force Will in his hand with the Days. That value yeah. was doing nothing to affect this game. Yeah, now we see uh, a little bit of life gain for Nick for the other token. And the Delver, what's it going to do? That flips Ponder. Ponder. Yeah, that's there like a perfect go. card to find right now, too. The funny thing here is, like, Joey Andrews is still definitely in this game. Insectile Irrigation is going to come across, it's going to put him to six. If Andrews is able to find a matron or a ringleader, yeah. boy, he can get back in this game. Yeah, I mean, if I were him, I would be praying to draw a ringleader as my first draw, put it into play for free, and then just hope, spin the wheel, comes out really well. And we're almost to the point right now where he needs to consider putting one of his vials up to five in case he draws Siege Gang Commander so he can actually throw something at that Delver because his life level is getting low and this deck has lightning bolts in it. So vial management here, as, as Cowden shuffled with the Ponder and hit a land, he's got swords, he's got days, he's got nothing else. Vial management here is super, super important, and he is going to go up to five, hoping to peel. Okay. Yeah. So, so what, what? this is a little bit dangerous because if he draws Matron, he gets dazed, which is like a beating two mana. Okay, pile driver. driver. Not exciting. Draw a card a here. swing and a bolt away, yeah, or two swings three. away. And right now, top of the deck, what you got? Ringleader would make it the most interesting. Big knock, what is that? What are you? Don't be a matron. Uh, I don't know if that's good enough. What, what are you? I think it is that, might be is that a matron? What is that? Is that an incinerator? Do, do, do. I think that's. I think it's an incinerator. So close. If only I it had one more life. It is an incinerator. Okay, so yep. he 
does that, he's gonna do one yeah. damage from cycling. Um, hope to draw. I don't, I don't know. know what. Yeah, I don't think he has an out. Scoopy, scoopy. Yep, scoopy, scoopy. Nick Cowden moving on to the finals, defeating Joey Andrews two games to one. Blue at Red Delver, you're up next for the Reanimator deck. But now this is ha this has to be uh, not what we want, not what Robert wanted to see yeah. in this uh, this result. Yep. Now uh, this leaves us with only two competitors left. Nick Cowden, the winner here. We also have another winner yes, at do. home, and Nick Cowden, he actually is representing the archetype of that Star City Games premium question, the trivia question that I asked earlier for the prize of six free months 